It's the Netgear Pro Safe 802.11G wireless access point. These things are a ton of fun. I have so much fun with wireless access points. And let me tell you what you can do with these so you can start to get some ideas because that's all that you really need to know. And then you're probably going to pick up 15 of them, 30 of them. I don't know. Uh, all right, here's what these things are used for. Now, they're uh, 802.11G. Uh, that's 108 megabits per second. Uh, data transfer, same speed as G. And here's the way they work. They can be used virtually uh, anywhere that you would normally use an Ethernet cable. For example, if you wanted to connect two computers together, one's on one side of the house and one's on the other side of the house, one's here, one's in the garage, whatever. If you think about running a cable, well, that's going to take a lot of cable. You've got to go all from one place to the other. How about this instead? Put one of these on each end. This becomes your wireless access point between them, and it removes the need for a cable. That's a use, and that's a really handy use as well. How about another use? You've got a router and you're on the internet. Uh, you want to get some wireless computers on the internet and you're thinking, well, you know what, I've got to go out and buy a wireless router, don't I? I've got to go out and buy something with 19 antennas and all this stuff. It's going to cost me a million dollars. No, you don't need to do that. If you really like your existing router, all you have to do is just add one of these and then all of a sudden, all of the laptops, all your friends who have computers who come over and want to use their laptop to get online, if you have a laptop or a computer in the other room that's wireless, well, they're all going to have access now because you've installed a wireless access point. Just plug it into your standard router. Uh, even if your standard router is not wireless, this is going to make your house wireless. That's another really cool uh, way to use it. Uh, also, what else can you do with this? You can do so much stuff with this. You can also use this to extend the range of your existing router. It works with just about all the routers uh, out there, and you can hook up 64 users to this individual unit, and then you can keep daisy chaining them together. Uh, this is really becoming popular in cities, uh, especially uh, places that have libraries and internet cafes and that sort of thing. You can have these, and you can have one access point somewhere else, and they can all talk to each other and uh, feed off of each other. And um, you know, they just let people get online wherever they go. So you'll have the library and all over different spots of the library, they install these. And what's cool about this model in particular is the fact that it doesn't necessarily have to have power. Now there's a power plug on the back if you need power, uh, but it also supports power over ethernet. So if you have the ability and you have the uh, right cabling, you can plug in a cable right here and it'll draw its power from that. And that's all the power that it's gonna need. And you know, this will also, you know, you can plug it in uh, your, your LAN cable there have the reset button there, right there. And as far as security goes, well, it, it comes with a lot of security features. For one, you can do MAC address filtering and MAC, uh, you know, access. So if someone's, uh, if you only want a certain amount of computers on the network, maybe if you have a business or a library or an internet cafe, and you only want the computers on your cafe to get online, just get the MAC address from each computer, go into the uh, software here. It's as simple as opening up a web browser and, and uh, heading over to this device. You, in, you know, insert all the MAC addresses, and then only those computers will be allowed online. If you want to use some other forms, it also has WPA and WPA2. So you have that encryption as well. And that's uh, some pretty solid encryption. Can you crack that, Eric? No, you can't. You can crack WEP, right? You, you can, but not WPA2. Oh, we got a hacker over here, by the way. He actually, you have classes in school about how to do that kind of stuff, right? Did you? <laughs> why, why would you go to school? Why did they teach you that in school? Oh, so you can prevent it. I guess if you can crack it, you can prevent it, right? But you can't get into WPA2. You can't get into this thing. It's flexing its muscles. You can use this as a wireless router to stream games, movies, internet, YouTube to different computers around the house. But I think the coolest thing about it is the ability uh, to use this instead of a long cable across the house. You can even use it without a router. You can just hook it up straight to a computer uh, with the ethernet cable that's included. You plug that straight into here, straight into a computer. Right there's the Ethernet cable. That's included. And then you plug one into the other computer, and you've got a network just like a wired network, except it's wireless running off the access point from one to the other straight. So that's a really cool thing. And then the fact that you can just daisy chain these together to make an endless bridge. You can virtually make an endless bridge with this. If you own a mall and you want internet all throughout the mall, just strategically place these things everywhere. And each one can have 64 users. So it's awesome. Wireless access points. They make me very excited. If you guys have any questions, click on Q&A at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. For more information on Netgear's ProSafe 802.11G wireless access point, go to compusa.com and type N100-1658 into the search box. You can also call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMPUSA.